Hello everyone, this is Veronica with Bee's Crafty Corner. Today I'm going to do a stocking gift card tag. So gift card and a candy this year and this is what I'm doing. I got this SVG file from Lori Whitlock. Um, she's here on YouTube also and her shop is shoploriwhitlock.com and the SVG file I bought was the stocking gift card holder and she has she has her own style and how to do it just I guess just for um, the look but um, I went ahead and did this since I um, I did that card the follow la la card I wanted to do a stocking with this too since these stockings are all over the stores you can find the um, um, the monogram stockings and um, those are the stockings that I'm going to buy for my family this year and what you do is if you don't have a cutting machine then you're just gonna have to print it and it'll look like this you print it on some red paper or cardstock this is cardstock and I printed this um, with a laser. You could use a desktop or whatever printer you have. And just fussy cut it out. And you can do the same thing that I'm doing here. I use my Cameo. And again, we're going to use these cutting dies. I love these cutting dies. I've been using them a lot, I noticed. And uh, I'm going to use this Target ink that I bought. I wasn't too fond of it um, however for shading it's fine but for stamping it isn't and let's see what else oh this you're gonna need fabric I got this fabric from Joann's and it's in the baby section I'm gonna use the two-way glue pan for this and we're not going to glue the top so let me go ahead and glue this really fast before it dries okay and let me pick it up so it's even so I got my Chuck E. Cheese pass here I have kids so this is where the gift cards gonna go right in here And just press down, make sure that your glue is adhered properly. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, I don't have one of those uh, stamping daubers, um, but I have this one, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to dab it in the ink. Okay. So we're just going to ink the sides just to give it dimension and a little bit of character. And you want to do this part before you add the fabric. Yeah, so I bought this ink at the Target dollar spot, the um, stamp pad, and I didn't really like it too much. I don't like the stamps either. The stamps, I mean, they're cute, but they don't hold ink very well because I tested it with a Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Inks the ink pad, and still it doesn't... I don't know they were only a dollar so maybe that's why I'm not sure but that's one of the reasons why I haven't used it I hauled it in an earlier video probably about a month ago 
Okay, so there is that, done with that. So you're gonna cut out the um, letter with a white sheet of paper. So I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot. You can, if you have a cutting machine, you can also use that to cut out a letter. You don't have to buy these dies. But I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot and then this is how it looks. And I did a, a M and a V for my initials. And so whoever gets the candy with the gift card is going to get my initials and they're gonna have to take it. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue, you know what? Let me glue the fabric on first. And that we're using hot glue. There we are. So we're gonna have to work fast. There we are. Just press down and we're going to flip it over and we're going to cut along the edges. Last side. Oh, if you don't have a cutting machine, be sure to score um, right where these slits are before you put on the fabric. So I'm going to fold right there. And what you're going to use is you're going to use removable tape or you could use um, magnets um, or Velcro. So I'm going to use um, removable tape. Okay, so that is it right there. Put the M on letter. Again, I'm using my two-way zig glue. Isn't that adorable? So we're going to need some ribbon and we're going to cut it about five, no, six inches. And if we fail to mention, um, you're going to want to cut a hole in here and um, I would say to uh, use your hole puncher with this and do it before you glue the fabric. That way it's easy. So I was able to cut the hole 
And so when it's closed, when you secure it closed, it'll hold down. So let's go ahead and put a ribbon through that hole. So just put it through and tie a knot. Or if you don't want to do a knot, you could just uh, use some glue. I just came right out. <laughs> Real life people, this is real life right here. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna need to put some hot glue down because this is not going to stick. But um, the hole is too big for, for the knot. You can even add this to it just to hide it and it would still close. Let's go ahead and do that. That way we could hide that piece right there. We could insert the gift card, close it, add it to your C's candy. That's my favorite candy, C's candy, with your gift card. Well, that's my video today, you guys. I hope you liked this. It's really, really cute, and it resembles the monogram stockings that are selling right now. And I love it. You guys have a good day. And until next time, happy holidays. Bye.